and police officers because a lot of what they do is, is very, very, very similar. So you said 120 hours of the 680? Right. So he won't. The fact that we are so close to the base, that our community is so intertwined with the base, this is really a good fit for us. It's really a good fit. He doesn't know yet, but you know, right. talk about that part. How, how you're looking forward to the differences. Yeah, I'm right. looking forward to sort of that transition period. Uh, Less than what? Yes, sir, I, meant, uh, I think basically it's uh, you know, some North Carolina specific uh, training for. Uh, future hires for the department, so I've got kind of a little responsibility as well. But so, training, uh, you know, these guys when they're or, and gals when they're in the military like this, they gain, you know, just just the experience of, of having, you know, the uh, interpersonal uh, exchanges with people in a positive way. And I think one of the things that we've been very fortunate about is with uh, divisions and agencies is uh, is quite uh, quite a quite a thing to see. Before they had to go through the part of the committee that put this into action. So can you talk to me a little bit about North Carolina Military Affairs Commission work that will support and maintain the Constitution. That will support and maintain the Constitution. Rich, yes, sir. Warrior, congratulations. Sir, thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Th